Wait, wait, wait. Are you kidding me? So, Faith, what movie did we see today? Mm. All right, I'm cooking. Um, we saw the new Sword Art Progressive. What is it? What was it? Even? Sword Art Online. Sort of online progressive aria of a starless night. Yeah, yeah, that. I, I did not get the whole name. Oswald, how did you like the movie? Look at her. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Thanks. You can tell by her hair, she clearly enjoyed the movie. I would say so, yeah. So I wanted to make an impromptu uh, video here discussing what I think is the point of Asuna Yuki as Maybe. a character. Asuna Yuki, yes. So anyone who's seen the original Sword Art Online, she doesn't really have that much of a character. I mean, is she really that much of a character? Honestly, um, to me, how I saw it was she quickly just turned into like, just a, I mean, I wouldn't say fan service. It's just, she became just like a little Girlfriend to Kirito? Well, she, I mean, in this second half of season one, she was, you know, very clearly the damsel in distress. Yeah, she went, because, like, a, when I first watched the show, like, the first times around, like, seeing her, she was kind of just, like, a badass character. She was. But, like, I felt like her personality just did a, like, that. Yeah. Out of nowhere. But e even, I think, even when she was a, uh, a badass character, like, I, I always liked her character, but... Yeah. In the even in the first in the Icrad arc, uh, originally, what what was her motivation? You know, what 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 drove her? Honestly, don't remember. I because there, to my knowledge, and I've seen the you know the Icrad arc a few times. I never read it, but I watched it. There really wasn't much. It was a uh, like yeah, she was a cool character, and you know both those characters really worked. I mean, some people disagree that they even worked at all, but I think they worked well because of their dynamic together. Yeah. But as individual characters, even Asuna, which many people consider the best part of that arc, or the show in general. Of the I, first arc? Of the, yeah, the Ironcrad arc, or the show in general. I didn't really think that she had too much going on. No, honestly, I think she's kind of flawed. I do think, and like obviously I'm skipping ahead, the farther you get in the series, like, I'm not the biggest Sword Art fan, but, like, the later arc with, like, her and her mom, mm -hmm. I think that was an interesting arc. I think did her justice. Well, that was that was actually what I was going to to bring up next. Oh, yeah. It takes cookie until the end. <laughs> the end is going to crunch on the camera. It's going to sound great. Is it actually going to pick that up? Probably. Whatever. Uh, but I was, I was going to get to that point where it takes about, you know, the end of season two to where she really gets that character development. Which, you know, that's okay. It's at the end of the world. She finally at least got that. Yeah. And a lot of people rip on season... A lot of people hate season two. Fucking hate it. I think I like it more. A lot of people hate it because of... Uh, because of Gun Gale Online. I... Which, I okay. My, I enjoyed it just because, to be honest, I only watched the show because I saw parts with Sinon first. So I kind of just big through to get to Sinon. Great character. Um, but the whole Asuna Yuki and her mom's part is like it, I think that was good for her because I think like I said she was lacking character development. Um, so yeah. Uh, but what we were talking about in the car though was. Like her progressive model, yeah, and specifically like you know the scene in the dungeon. Yeah, I, I, so I think, so the progressive. I forgot exactly when he, the guy started writing them, uh, but it was it was before he started writing the uh, Alice. You haven't seen the Alice's Asian art, but it, no. it was I believe it was before that, or I think it was two thousand sixteen. I think it's when the English version came out. I think it was probably like a year or two before that. Okay. They started actually, you know, came out in Japanese. So it's been around. For yeah, it's been, I mean, it's been around for, for a you know, good amount of time. Uh, but what I think he did is he took the development she had as a character eventually, you know, within the, the Yuki arc and all that. Yeah. And she, he brought that back to her, like, original character in the Iron Crad arc, which technically, like, canon-wise, it was always there. Like, she always had that childhood. But, like, 
I highly doubt that was actually thought up until that actual arc in the series. So we kind of shot that back uh, to her being really her defining motivation in this beginning of Progressive. Uh, so then you see her in the first book. And to me, like we were you know, saying in the car, mm -hmm. this is the point of Asuna Yuki. Uh, but to me, the point of Asuna Yuki is what happens when you get consumed by fear. So if anyone has seen, I'm gonna, we'll talk about specifically the movie, because it does differ a little bit from the progressive novel, because you know, yeah. the novel follows Kirito, aside from one chapter, while the movie literally follows Asuna until you see uh, our boy. Our boy who can't our boy. get his sword in his shoe. Okay. <laughs> Which, I, see, that's the thing, is like, I yeah. like it, and I, I kind of like, and I, I like how it focused on her while the book focused on him. It was both sides of the same coin. Yeah. And then you literally had him show up, and he's like, he felt like a completely different, like, he literally had the hair over the one eye. Yeah. Does it get... Any more, like, 14-year-old than that? It doesn't. It literally doesn't. So I did like how they handled that. But So we'll talk about the, the movie specifically for, for right now. The point of her in the movie. Uh, and we see... The movie takes a lot of time to really build up her home life. Probably around, like, 50... I mean, they're in the real world for... Yeah, they're in for a bit. It's a long movie. They introduce a whole new character. Yeah, which was it in the book. Uh, it's about 20 minutes uh, that it, the movie dedicates to the time before she actually goes into Sword Art Online. And we clearly see in that time that uh, she is very fearful of her mother. And kind of the whole family, not fearful of the whole family, but it doesn't seem like the father or the brother are very comforting. Yeah, the dad's just passive. The dad's passive. If you remember in the original series, he kind of, like, marries her off. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Which, I don't know how canon that is to this iteration, but it, in some iteration of the story, it does happen. I, I feel like he, yeah. Yeah. Which... I didn't know she had a brother. I actually, that was in the original because that was always his nerve gear. I believe that oh. was in the original. Was yeah, it? I knew it was. I did nerve. remember I just, that. I don't remember ever It was weird to see. Like, where, is he around now? Where, no, well, the, the thing was, he works. Because if you hear that, this no, is yeah, he, yeah, he, he has like a job where he travels. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he, he travels. And I think that she's not fearful of, of that, but it's more fearful of expectation. Yeah. Now, Japanese culture is a, a big topic. But yes. as I could tell by your exasperated, I mean, like you even see it in the one scene where we're still in the real world and they have the test scores oh, on the it's, wall. Yeah, it's it's competitive. If you you get a bad score, everyone's seeing it. Yeah, it's it's very. High school in Japan is incredibly different than ours. Yeah. It's basically it's like our college on steroids. Yeah, because you have to do entrance exams to yeah. get the specific high school. It's, I mean, what, they got the cages on the roofs. And that's why you see a lot of, uh, you have the hihikamoris, which is like, I think it's like 10% of the Japanese population is literally shut-ins. Because when you fall out from societal expectations, like, it's so easy to fall out of that. And then you're like, you just don't know what to do. Yeah, uh, so it's, it's aggressive. Yeah, it's progressive. Yeah, and well, sort of online. Uh, well, and then imagine it from her standpoint because she comes from like a well-off family, very well. Her mom family. has super high expectations. Like in the movie, they were even talking about how she was like she's getting like A's or whatever they were saying all these. But it kind of reminds us, reminds me of our grandma that no matter what you did, you could always do better. And you could do better. Yeah. And there was never any praise. It's like like she said at the dinner table, she had great grades. She was ahead of her class, and her mom was still, you know. Yeah. It's, it's that fear of expectation. Well, the progressives are right there, actually, in the book. Really? And the progressive books made me like Asuna a lot more, because I didn't actually like her in the original show till later on. Yeah, I... I the books made me... I liked her. Time. I liked... It made me like Hirito a lot more. So, yeah, we got the new setup the new uh, set. for a girl, Oz. Oz. She's holding it with her hair. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's like a spider who just, like... <laughs> Is holding her prey with a just, menacing smile. You just have the face, just the menacing face. 
But it's, yeah, so it's the fear of expectation. Uh, and that really is something that's so prevalent in Japanese society. So that's, that's her life re- literally is dictated by fear. Like, yeah, you kind of see her panicked uh, face when she's like, oh, I got to get back home. Or the mom, uh, she's like, you have to be at the, de- the breakfast table by what, 6.55? Why not 7.00? Why 655? I think they went out of their way. Yeah, so how extra. fucking exact. Well, yeah, because that was her fear. Once she's like, everyone's stuck in the game, you can't leave or you die. Her literal fear was, I have tests I have to do at home. Actually, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. she said her that while first everyone's thing, freaking out. It's her first thing wasn't a fear of dying, which we'll come back later. Yeah, this it was is, a, this a fear point. of not doing the test. Mm-hmm. Which uh-huh. I think proves your point even further. She, her fear isn't dying. Originally, when it reveals the death game, isn't dying. It's she's like, oh, I got this to do. Yeah. Uh, which, I mean, you can kind of tell how like low key traumatic. Yeah, because that's the fire. That, like in a situation like that, the first fear that pops in your head, like th- that's it for her. Yeah. So like that really shows that that's how much control it has over her life. For sure, and. I think that kind of leads into what is the point of her character, at least at least starting out, or at least uh, within this first movie. So we see that. Uh, I mean, this is where it different from the book. She adventures with her friend Mi- Mito. That's name, right? the name in game. Well, your name is Mi- Misumi or something. Mis- I thought it was like Mitalu, Mitaru, Mitaru. No, it's Mis- I think I'm pretty sure it's Masumi, but we'll, we'll call her Mito. It was a longer name than it was like a whole extra syllable, I think. But yeah, Mito is what they go by in the game. So. Yeah, so let's go by that. Uh, she she looks like uh, she looks like Yuki combined with Kirito. Uh, no, with uh, Doki Doki while I can Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> That's actually a good point. That's what she looks like. To me. It's a good point. But, uh, yeah, so she's not in the book at all. It's a completely no, new character. Uh, so they kind of go on, on their thing. And eventually, spoilers alert, you can see the movie, uh, she leaves Asuna to die. Yeah. Which I was almost certain she was just going to die. Yeah, because she yeah. picked up mm-hmm. the rapier and the cloak. And I was like, oh, this is the cloak that Asuna's going to wear because I know she wears the cloak. Uh, with you know, until it comes off during the the yeah. first floor boss battle, and that's the rapier she's gonna use. And I'm like, oh, that's kind. of, I'm like, I, it's kind of predictable. Like, I don't really. Yeah, I really did expect her to just die. She just, she, yeah, she, I, she just fucking left though. Yeah, she's she fucking beast. And I think that, you know, I, I think that went to show the fear of death that the show kind of lacked somewhat. Uh and maybe that comes a lot of that comes down to the animation like when Asu's about to die mm-hmm. you finally see that fear of death mm-hmm. instead of fear of other th- like expectations yeah. that you could see in her eyes that kind of comes alive and you see through Mito that that's a character that will she'll fucking she'll peace out which, you know which she did which I think I, I did appreciate that a lot because in that situation, that's what most people would do. Yeah, I mean, right? and like, she did try, but with all those monsters, it's like, the part that was, it's like you watch the health bars going down. Asuna was down to the red, she was down to the red. It honestly was a suicide mission if she kept going. It was. It absolutely was. So, I mean, you could also argue that by fleeing, she could recover, get stronger, and help everyone get out of the game instead of just sacrificing herself. But it, is that what she was thinking in that moment? Uh, no, no, that was definitely a fear, but that was also something I they brought up later again in talking. I swear there was a couple lines about it. But no, she it was a fear of death, and she left her friend to die. Um, Which I appreciated. Yeah, it was. That's a that's a tough move. Lots of guilt. Um, I mean, because well, Kirito, our boy. my boy, my my one eye covered by the hair, can't put his sword away, boy. <laughs> our man, 
A god the amongst legend. men. The legend. A legend of the yeah. nerds kind of thing. He says that the Mito or Misumi or whatever that you know is the one that you've always known in that sort of life situation. And his point there, which I really did appreciate because you think a lot of media would kind of say this, but it really doesn't. Uh, when we're in those situations, that's not really us, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, she could mean... When they're sitting in the, in the room together, she says, I will never let you die. She can mean that wholeheartedly. When you're actually in that situation... It's a completely other you, piece. You can't, you know? But it's not like she didn't mean that or like she doesn't care about Asuna. It was no. just that, like, she had... It's it's a fear. It's fear. Again, yeah. it's the fear of death that will pretty much make you do anything. Mm -hmm. Kirito even says, he's like, oh, I could have never even... I could have never done that. I couldn't have helped you in the situation if he, you know, had he, if he had that fear of death. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I do remember that conversation. And I really did appreciate that. But what Asuna faces, again, isn't really a fear of death. It's more of a fear. It's, it's that continued trauma that she's kind of been accumulating probably over, I mean, you would assume over her entire life, that kind of emotional trauma. Right? And... Once she's left by Mito, I think she has a, a break, not a breakdown, but a, like a breakthrough in more in a negative way to where, you know, her, 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 her line is like, she's like, I don't want this world to, to take me. I want to die myself. You know, I want to die being myself, which as we're talking in the car, it's a little edgy. I don't want to throw you that don't word like around. Words, so you so, but it, it, it is a little edgy. I mean, but at the same time, what is she, like a 14-year-old girl? She's a 14-year-old She was girl. left to die. And she's she, almost died, what, twice now? Probably and she's now. trapped in a video game. Yeah. So, I mean, like you were saying, what state would that put me in if I was in that situation? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you don't, you literally You can say sit. one thing. Yeah. And the reality is always different. When you're actually put up to those... Which Mito proves. Yeah. You know? So it is a little tiny bit edgy, but you know what? We'll give her the we'll give her the quick pass for this one. Just this one, but we'll give it to her. Uh, but so what you, you kind of see is that it becomes a new kind of fear. And it's more of the fear that she's going to continue to live her life like she has. You know, like like I said, her whole life she's been living under the fear of expectation. But now she's in this new world. And she jumped into gaming for a reason, right? Like, ma many people jump into gaming to escape, yeah, you know, escape. to escape reality, yeah. basically. And the movie goes a long way to, you know, tell Asuna this is a new reality. Which, yeah, she doesn't like it at first, but she does recognize that, like, she doesn't have to be the same person here. Which I think does speak a lot for, you know, how we interact with games yeah. and all that. But that's like a whole, that's like a whole that's a, topic. Yeah, that's a fucking topic. And I want to make another two hour video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep it to Asuna for now. But she has, like I said, she has this new fear of becoming that same person, right? Who you can kind of tell she doesn't identify with that person it's more of like a like a costume or like a mask she wears in you know in reality in front of her mom. Yeah. You know, like when she's talking to her dad and her brother, she's like smiling and all that. And she's like the mom's like six fifty five breakfast time. Why are you why are you two seconds? Why are you point two four seconds late? And she's like <laughs> what did she say? How know. do you say thank you for the meal? Uh I that, Come on, I it's always, one of the easy one. I that's always one I always forget. I well, she did also say good minute. She apologized, but I don't know. Good minute. Good, good, good minute. It, that's another thing. She didn't say go minute. She said go minute sigh. So she has to talk super formal with her mom still. Okay, well that's a good nuance that you just pointed out. I didn't know. Yeah, I noticed that too. I noticed the facial. But that like I I also don't know if. That's just proper to still use the side part with your parents, but I, I feel know. like it's supposed to be p intimate, like group friendships and family. So I'm assuming it was just they have that very strict, like 
almost militaristic relationship. Well, I dropped out of uh, Japanese class in college, so I don't know. You're probably. Uh, I, I'm gonna go with that because that's what I picked up on. I I, yeah. I didn't look at the faces as much. Well, yeah, I I just looked at the faces, and her face just dropped, and she's using that formal thing. Mm -hmm. That face drop is the mask that she's putting on, right? And like I said, she doesn't identify with. She doesn't really identify with that in a video game. This new reality, in a way, is kind of letting her be herself more than she actually is in actual reality, you know? She also... I, I was also thinking about this. I don't know if this really adds to anything, but she also made herself in the game. Like, her avatar was her. She did. And it used her name. And you, you could also argue that it was just because she doesn't really play video games and she was just kind of going I mean, like, yeah, but, but at like, the same time, it's like she used her actual body. She used the picture. I like how they put you through that scene, too. They did. It was like super quiet. It was like creation. menu music. I yeah. love that. It was great. And it, she picks her name and she uses her actual skin while her friend was a giant buff guy with <laughs> weird, crazy eyes. And like I said, you know, I was literally on the floor when he... Or she, yeah, you, she started you talking. Dying. It was the funniest thing ever. I want to rewatch that scene every day. That's how I want to start every morning of my life. <laughs> is rewatching that scene. It's just the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, but that, no, that I think is that adds point. to the fact where like she still thinks she has to be like the. See, I would say that on the. I would actually say the flip side to where she feels like she can more be herself in this reality. I okay. think. Now, here's a little nuanced thing, uh, and it came to, like, the hair tying scene. Yeah. In the beginning. There was some interesting... Which, like, at first, actually, now I'm thinking about it, I was like, there probably is a little more to that, because at first I was like, this is Yuri baiting. They just want us to... Yeah, a, they want lot us to start of, shipping. a lot of it was that. Which it probably was, but at the same time, uh, it gave her a new look. Mm-hmm. Like, it gave, I mean, her iconic look, but, yeah. you know, now to her at the time, at her at the time, it was the new look, yeah. right? And she got that from Mito, or Misumi at that time. And right when she's making her character, that's who, that's the hairstyle she, which they had the exact same hairstyle, okay. Yeah, because it actually takes the picture of her, and it's yes. her regular hair, and she quickly and she, switches And she switches it. it very silently, and so you could... Yeah, it could pass by you in a second. Thing. But it kind of shows that that's the person she relates to more. The person, not even the person at school, because even then it kind of seems like there's a mask. It's more the person that she is with Masumi slash Mito. Gaming, you know, kind of being herself, yeah. being all Yeah, she goofy. definitely looked up to her, and having that, like, her put that hairstyle on her, I think. Because, like, the one the girl has like amazing grades too she's literally doing all these games and all this other things like she's just being herself and being fun and i think asana really looked up to that that's who she wants to be yeah so that's who she made herself in the game yeah you know that's the person she at least wants to identify with and then she when mito betrays her she kind of loses that yeah you know Hides and then herself she, in a cloak yeah, she literally, yeah, she puts the cloak on. <laughs> she puts the, like, like a 14-year-old in a hoodie. Yeah, yeah The literally. back of study hall. <laughs> the back of the Listen classroom to looking out the window. Listen to Biscuit insane clown posse. Exactly. Listen to us on Blood on the Dance Floor kind of show. Yeah. Man. But she, she kind of spirals. Yeah. Uh, she spirals down because she, to me, in that moment, losing that connection with Mito and thus that connection to the person she wants to be, she feels like she's losing herself. Yeah. And it's the fear of death that really took Mito away from her. So I think that she doesn't want that fear of death to take her away from the person she wants to be. Or, as she says it, take her away from herself. Right? And I think that that logic spawns off the, the fear of expectation she's always had to where she always felt like she couldn't be herself. Yeah. So in this new reality where she has this new avatar that is based off something that she wants to be, she doesn't want to lose that again and revert back to the same person who was always fearful of expectations, right? Yeah. So now she's fearful of... I guess she's fearful of fear itself now, which is kind of, kind of weird. Okay. That's then, interesting. Yeah, because you definitely picked up on a lot more than I did there. I mean, you're an English major. I dropped out of college. <laughs> um, I, 
we're, we're back. All right, so uh, quick recap here. We just lost a bunch of footage because the camera stopped recording. Keep an eye on that camera, make sure it's still recording. Yeah. But we were talking quickly, I'll, I'll go over it again. Uh, Phoenix asked about my thoughts on the scene where she's like, after she, Kirito saves her, she goes back to her room. Uh, then she has the the moment where she's like, oh, I left the game. And she's back with her family eating at the table. But like a hallucination. Yeah, like a sure. pretty much a hallucination. And what I was saying about that scene, kind of my thoughts on it, and how it relates back to the point of Asuna Yuki, is that she doesn't want to be in the game, right? She wants to be herself, or more accurately, her ideal self. So the perfect ideal situation is that she is this self that she wants to be in, you know, in the actual world with her actual family, like interacting with her, actually being nice to her, all that good stuff. You know, you were saying making her the food she wants, being proud of her and all of that. I said it was basically like the congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. 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 Like that, that scene. Reminds yeah, exactly. It, it does remind me of that scene. It's kind of, a little more abstract and not that abstract, but it's a little more abstract in that way. So that's the ideal situation for her because she can be herself, the image she has of herself, and she can be in the situation that she wants to be in. And that self is very dependent on Mito or Misumi or whatever. Very, very dependent on. Them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So when the scene, the the scene ends with Mito has left the party. Mito has left the party. When that ends like that, it's like a very rude reminder that, you know, she she's cut off. She's very disconnected now with that ideal self because of how connected that self was with Mito. Yeah. Or her, her image of Mito, her looking up to her and all that stuff that we were talking about. Yeah, like the whole, like what you were saying, I don't know if this part got cut off, but the distraction, I'm sure, I think that part was still I think I think it's still in there. Like the distraction part where she was happy, and like, I mean, that's the thing, it's like now it's a fear of relapse into the person she was, because she was distracted for a while from that life, even in this game where now you have to survive and they don't know how to get through it, at least they were doing it together and she was doing it her way. Yeah, she was, be that was perhaps the first time that she has ever really been herself or mm -hmm. been the person that she feels inside oh i'm sure it is yeah. or at least from when she was very very young uh, uh like yeah. a toddler which, which she's not gonna basically when she knew when she was going on she's always been wearing that mask yeah because of the way her mom yes yeah. and now through mito she has this new sense of of the ideal self or you know the person she wants to be or whatever and the cool gamer girl. Exa yeah, the gay the gamer girls. They're not like others. They, yeah, they're not they're not like the other girls. Like other they girls. they play games. The one scene where <laughs> <laughs> you're too good at the games. We're gonna leave you alone. Yeah, then there's a whole flashback where she's a little girl and she's like, we can beat the dungeon. And they're like PSP and they're like, you're better than us. We're gonna leave you now. Bye. Yeah, like I said, I was gonna I was gonna say gamer girl moment, but I want to feel behind us to get mad at me. <laughs> yeah, it was. I didn't really, I didn't really love that scene. I don't know if I love Mito as a character, but kind yeah. of. Besides, I think she really just is there. She's to there for build Asuna. Asuna as a yeah, character. I mean, they added her in for. I, I'm glad they added her in because the original novel just kind of has Asuna in the dungeon doing all this stuff, and you can get the context clues. But I think, you know, talking this out. Uh, I think having that ideal self wasn't really present in the novel, but it is in the film. Yeah. Which I think I like the film more now because Mito is in it. Yeah, I think it was refre refreshing to have her, and I, I definitely think she was necessary. Are you recording? Oh, God. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, we're back. So if you notice that the angle is, again, different, it's because the camera died. We have a new battery, so this is the third... <laughs> this is the third time! We that go. we're, we're going in again. Unlike uh, the game when the battery dies. The battery dies. When you die in the game, you die in real life. Microwaves will fry your brain. Yeah, I kind of use microwaves. Fucking. Okay. What, what do you got? Uh, but, so we were talking about the inclusion of Mito and how it's, it's a necessary puzzle piece to kind of, I, mean, I don't want to say justify, to, but to build Definitely. Asuna's character. Yeah, because I think if they tried doing the movie from her perspective without a friend like that, 
I mean, you know. She would have just seemed emo. Yeah, she kind of is so. just as isolated and solo and emo as Kirito in the beginning she until she joins the Red Cross or whatever it is. <laughs> Red Cross? What, 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 <laughs> the Red... Is she going around like... Saving third world countries? The Red Cross? I just remember the white armor with the Red Cross. I, I didn't even put that together in my head. Is she going like is she going to like Brazil and like saving the rain flight? What the Red Cross? What do they call? I don't even know what they're called. The Knights. The Knights of the Red Cross. We'll call them that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. The the white and red guys. Uh, but she in in the novel she is very isolated. And I, I do like her character in the novel, but I think it added a puzzle piece that, yeah, I think they made it a lot better. Made it was lot definitely better. necessary. It gives more reasoning to her getting into the game instead of just, I mean, you could have always argued, it was just escapism. She went in her brother's room and did it, but actually having, like, this friend she looked up to that could, like, she kind of lashed onto her as, like, a way to change her life, which yeah. we were talking about. Yeah, her way to change herself, I guess. Yeah, and like we said so many times now when like that thing like you're connected to that latch that's like pushing you towards this new thing if it just collapses the fear of relapse yeah and then thus her in the dungeon yes this oh. brings us to her in the dungeon which was where we started our conversation in the car yes and this is what we'll end this conversation here uh her in the dungeon now I, she she's not suicidal i don't think because she's not, like I said, in the car. She's not trying to die. That's not, I mean, Kirito even points out, he's like, if your intention is to just clear this dungeon, like, or clear the floor, like, get out of here, whatever, you ain't, you ain't doing this right, you know? Like, or if you're, but the, other, the flip side was, if your intention is to die, whatever. And it, it clearly wasn't. But I think she goes on this, I mean, it is a, a mission that she's going to die. She doesn't stop. She's been, what, it was like yeah, she was days. sleeping in the safe zone. Yeah. Just bought like seven swords. They just keep yeah. bringing, and she was also using all of her energy to do like the little last remaining HP on the enemies. And that kind of goes back to her fear of death. Obviously she has a fear of death. I think it... No, I think it does show it pretty clearly that she does fear death, but that she can fear that, but the fear of the fear of expectation is greater. Yeah. And what she says in the dungeon is that she doesn't want, she's like, oh, we're all going to die anyway, which, you know, is a mindset that is very understandable to have. But that she wanted to die being herself. If she was going to die anyway, she wanted to die being herself. And she didn't want this world to take herself. She didn't, she didn't want the world to take her or to change her. And Mito helped raise this like new Asuna. And then the world did take Mito away because of Mito's own fear of death. Mm -hmm. Right? So she already had that disconnect that we see within the, the vision and all that. And she didn't, I guess she probably felt that if she let the fear of death overcome her herself, she would just revert back to who she was before. Okay. She would completely lose that connection with the person that she wanted to be, right? Yeah. Which I think is better than literally dying. So it is a very flawed perspective, but it's her perspective. Mm -hmm. And I think the point of Asuna is why she has this perspective. And I think it's because that she has lived her entire life not being herself. You know? She's lived her entire life being fearful of expectations of her mother. Looking at her brother and her father not really helping yeah. out or I mean the father, like I said, marries her off in the other series. Yeah. How canon is that? I don't know. To the creepy guy. To the creepy guy. Sugo, I think his name is. Yeah. yeah. But I, she's she's lived this life to where she's never been able to be herself. And she can't let that happen again. Yeah. That's 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 why her perspective is it's better to literally die. Instead of 
reverting back to that state because that's how traumatic mm -hmm. that's the, the amount of trauma she associates with being in that state is that she'd literally rather die i mean has she is the game where she really started to live that became with me kind time. of the reality yes that became her that's reality. her actual life yeah she which i think the original series uh it, it it actually touches on that a lot where it's like this can be reality. Yeah, uh, that that's a whole like that. Yeah, that's a that's a whole I mean yeah. my first video on YouTube is kind of about that. So go wasn't watch it. Wasn't it an SAO? Video? It was a sort of online it was about it was about Kaiba, yeah. So yeah. it was about his motivations. Mm -hmm. Love that video. And it kind of, a lot of the video touches upon that. You could probably link it in this one. Oh I will, a piece of the heater just cracked off because I touched it. What a lovely house. Yeah, so basically she is fearful of the fear of expectation. And the last thing she wants to do is to go back to reverting. She doesn't want to revert back to her old self that she didn't associate herself with. Because the one she associates herself with now is the person that Mito, Mito kind of raised. But yeah. then being disconnected from Mito led her to kind of like scramble after that, like grasp onto that as much as she could because the world that they're in now took Mito away from her. Because of Mito's fear of death. So Asuna, in a way, kind of wants to overcome fear of death. And that her mindset is, it'd literally be better to die mm -hmm. than to go back to her old... Like an ego death kind of thing. She goes back yeah. to her old self. Yeah. That she literally just cannot associate with, associate with anymore. So that, to me, is the point of Asuna Yuki. Uh, and, I mean, I think seeing this from her perspective and adding this character and just pushing into her character development, I think it made her a much more relatable character. Yes. Um, which I think she lacked a lot in the original series. I think that was one of the faults with Sword Art is like I think a lot of the characters, at least in the first season or the first half, are kind of just not really character. I wouldn't say they're one dimensional, but they're not they're not very no, they're kind of one dimension. They're not real, like they're they're lacking. They're characters. They're lacking, and I think this added a lot more to Asuna. Like I said, I like Asuna a lot more. I didn't start liking that till the end of season two, two, because that's when they first started diving into it. Um, I I like seeing the the weaker side of Kirito and the shy side of him. I love it. Yeah, I love them in the books, and I love here. Yeah, I, I I think the progressive novels are. If you enjoy Sword Art, I think the progressive novels are worth it because. I mean, they just dive in a lot I more. It. I love the vibes. He, just he has more personality. He has, he will always be OP, 14-year-old dream boy that we all wanted to be. When but we now he's the actual 60. But now he's the actual nerd that we all are. Yeah, instead of just uh, yeah, OP. Both. He gets the black cloak at the end of the movie, of course, though. Because, the black cloak. Because, you know, he's got to have the... the I'm, a going, I'm a beater. I'm a beater. Insert black cloak here. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. It was a good movie. It was a guy. I was a decent movie. I liked it. I mean, I, I just love the vibes, and you know, I like this whole. I like the the characterization it gave us in this. I'd give it a. I'm giving it a solid eight out of ten. It, wow. I love Sword Art. I just I always that, will. That's you have such high standards. If so it's not Sword Art, it's on there. If it's not Sword Art, like if it was in a Sword Art line, it, maybe a little There's like things a seven. I like that you would put. It's always like seven. Um... I hope when they do the next one that comes out in 2022, uh, which is uh, Nisen Nijuni, yeah, um, I hope it's, uh, I'm assuming, because I think this is the trend, I, it's going to be more Asuna focused. I would, I would. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping Mito comes back too. Mito. Uh, it's and then be of kind course of confusing girl. with the other purple haired character that's supposed to come in later. She would, yeah. She uh, went in the third movie. Yeah. I'm assuming Mito's going to eventually die. I still, unless they just want to overhaul the whole thing. The only thing we need to see, the whole point of this video is more Argo. Yeah. Yes. More, more Argo, Argo, number one. Number two, season three of Sword Online sucks. Um, you haven't yeah. seen it, but yeah, I don't like it. The, the video game is kind of fun. Oh, God, Kale? Yeah. That was Great. Of, I, I love those I games. was actually kind of impressed, but this is way off topic now. Yeah. Point is, stop shitting on Sword Art Online, and, yeah, <laughs> stop shitting on Sword Art Online. Thanks it's for watching. It's a good gateway. Yes, okay. thanks for watching. Goodbye.